wanted to um I wanted to take a second to remind myself not to exploit life. Now that may sound a little different than anything you've probably heard before. But I would believe, right now at least, that there are fundamental truths, um, systems, and situations that are what's right, are what blossoms that flower or that seed into a flower or anything like that you know the cycle of life the movement of that energy um, the completion and then the beginning again uh, the thing that connects to time um, that's something that's real and I believe we can add to it and move with it, like with our energy. So with that knowledge and the utilization of that knowledge, there's an outcome that we can enhance because it, it has to happen. It's part of that cycle. An example would be putting water on a plant. The plant needs water to grow. Correct. And giving a plant light. Because the plant needs light to grow. So, if we give clean water to a plant, just the act of giving water to a plant, there's something that's going to happen. If we give clean water to a plant, it grows a certain way. So we use that truth about life and its process to interact with it and create. But what if we put clean water with nutrients? It grows another way. My point is, if there's a point to it, life... Um, if we exploit life, um, I believe that though we would win short term, or would it would give the appearance of winning short term, um, but at the end of the day, it won't be. It, it'll end exactly where it began. Uh, an example, so if there's people out there who are using kindness, um, you know, things that create attachment, uh, emotions for physical release of chemicals and creating chemical dependencies for people, using their words and their vibrations in order to get them to have to overcome tremendous willpower against a system and cycle that was created by someone manipulating them, even if it's good. If it becomes like brainwashing um, and a chemical dependency, it's, it's, um, just another example of how hey well maybe by doing that they believe they're winning because they're getting the results because they're creating these actions in someone else's mind and body especially through the music especially through the music um, the vibrations and the frequencies in the music 
a lot more of what I'm referring to uh, than anything else. So I believe that when we exploit life, uh, life exploits us back and all the things that um, man obtains through um, the exploitation, the use and abuse of life. Um, I believe at the end of the day that what we get is um, it might even be designed to be used just to be destroyed. This might be the only path to destruction for people is exploiting the very thing that they need to survive, which is life. Um, maybe we got too smart. We knew too much. And we exploited the beautiful streams and rivers, the intricate design of species, technology, consciousness, awareness, attention maybe maybe we really even breathing yoga practices deep breathing but now but we got added in inhalation of smokes and vapors and the respiratory system that creates the um, the the balanced mind and body and heart is through you know through the breathing but we exploited it with different inhalations outside of just breathing in the air. And we knew that we needed the air. So that's why we spray the air. Because we think that we can make it rain. So yeah. This was my higher self speaking to my other higher self and maybe, maybe it resonates with you. Maybe not. If it does, hopefully, you know. Exploiting life, hoping you had a great experience from hearing it. But, yeah, you already know, so you don't need to hear it from me. Because I only said it because you needed me to. All right, have a blessed and wonderful day. God bless you.